Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Uh, this is a run, another one that was suggested on Reddit. What can I say? The suggestions are just better organized there as opposed to on YouTube where there's like 50 all in a row. I just gotta look at top comments. Anyway, this was suggested by Reddit user Vermolin and it's called SCIENCE with a big exclamation point. So we are starting with, as you can probably guess, Technology 1 and Technology 2. So we've got some sweet ass double lasers here. Uh, we also have Robo Baby. We have Doctor's Remotes, the Magnet, because, you know, fucking magnets, how do they work? And I do want to talk to a scientist, because those motherfuckers usually tell the truth and do not anger me. Um, we also have PhD, X-Ray Vision, and the Doctor's Remote. So in any case, let's get started here. The rules for this challenge. As you might expect, starting with such an overpowered run, uh, we are not going to be allowed to take items from item rooms, so unfortunately we are going to have to skip out on the relic there. Uh, but... We are allowed to take items from boss rooms, and items from secret rooms, and items from shops. So I'm expecting that this is one of those runs where I think we have a fairly good chance of success. We might as well pick up this 1-up. That's going to improve our chances of success that much more. But yeah, this is one of those runs where, especially at the start, I feel like we're going to be super powerful. Things might change as we move along. And obviously I will want to use this doctor's remote whenever possible. But we got a lot of good things going in our favor. We got kind of the same thing we had going in the last run. Where if I, uh, you know, I have the PhD, so if I get a lot of pills, they could potentially come in handy. And who knows, maybe we'll even be able to get full health pills this time. That's an eternal heart that will probably not come in handy, is my guess. My guess is we are going to lose that eternal heart on this boss fight. But you never know, maybe we'll get a really easy boss fight, or maybe we'll lose it before the boss fight. But I really love technology, I really love technology too. So to have these in conjunction with Robo Baby, I think gives us, uh, you know, some great chances for success here. So... We might as well go fight the boss here. Obviously our goal for this run is to get as far as we can get. We're gonna give it the old college try against, um... What's his dongus name? Um... There we go. We at least... Oh, no, no, no! Okay. Got kinda close there. Uh, we're gonna give it the old college try against Blue Baby. No guarantees, but... You know, we, we haven't even gotten to Blue Baby on any of these challenge runs. Beating Isaac seems to be, like, bare minimum success. We're gonna get a lot of HP upgrades here, basically. And... I think it's fair to say that we should go down to the next floor. Now, the interesting thing is, uh, I think it would be definitely outside of the spirit of the competition if I took something like Brimstone or Mom's Knife and completely changed the, the fire type that I have going on here. Uh, but, I don't know what else I could get from Deals with the Devil. I guess flying would be a big one. And beyond that, uh, you know, just maybe Spirit of the Night or Lord of the Pit or something. We will see. And of course, provided that the keys, like my key situation is adequate. I will be checking out these item rooms to see what we're missing out on, but I don't want the same situation we ran into last time where, you know, I walk in, pick up Luckfoot, and oh shit, right, I'm not supposed to be going to these rooms. So we got five health, one spirit heart, and lots of positives coming in our favor right now. Obviously, we're not going to make good use of those hearts just yet, but I do want to go to the shop on this floor, provided we can get to it. First things first, we might as well fight the boss, because I'm expecting it's going to be fairly easy. It's famine. Blue Famine, nonetheless. I might not even use Doctor's Remote here, yet. Uh, no! Because, uh, Blue Famine is kind of a pain in the dick, and I would hate to use Doctor's Remote, and then just have him, like, zoom across the entire screen. So instead, we'll just technology up here. Everything's going okay. Dude, it's still kind of a pain in the ass. The thing is, we're not doing that much damage. That's what we want. We want, like, a Polyphemus or something. We shouldn't be able to get one. No! Ah, there goes my Spirit Heart. We shouldn't be able to get Polyphemus because uh, I believe it only shows up in item rooms. But hey, this boss fight's relatively easy. Again, at this point, I could probably afford to use our. Uh, da -da -da -da, what was I gonna say? Our Doctor's Room. But there was no point by the end. It was already basically guaranteed. So I could take Forget Me now, but I don't want to get rid of Doctor's Remote again. Feels like it might be a little bit outside the spirit of the competition. So instead, we're just gonna leave. And of course, the nail would be fantastic too, but I don't think I should be allowed to get rid of. The spacebar item that I start with, because it's obviously tailor-made to the challenge itself. And I don't think I should be able to get rid of my, like, tier effects. I can stack more tier effects on top of it, provided it doesn't change it too much. But to just get rid of it, feels like a scumbag move. So we are gonna kill that guy super easily. We do have PhD, so maybe we'll take tarot card first. Get our sweet keys and bombs, and then see what we've got from our pill. Because it should let us know any second now. And given the money we have, the shop may indeed be worthwhile. We got Candle and Bomb, and neither of them really worth it. We got a Tears upgrade, cool. So I think that'll make Technology 1 fire a little bit faster. Obviously, Technology 2 fires continuously. 
And having been to both the secret rooms and all of the other remaining rooms, I think it is time for us to basically just head down to the next floor. So we haven't really gained too much uh, that gives us greater chance for success. I mean, we've gotten the HP upgrades, we've gotten the cube of meat, which could potentially give us another familiar at some point. Um, what else did we get? Basically, it, the one up, I guess. But the one up, if we end up having to use the one up, we're in like last ditch sh city. What I really would like is actually like a halo of flies. And the most likely way to get that is probably through pills. And the reason I'm thinking that is because we're going to need, you know, as much dodging potential as possible. Because we are going to be hitting Isaac continuously, which presents a problem for us. Uh, I would love to get Nun's Habit to go in conjunction with this. Every time I get hit, Doctor's Remote would charge halfway. It's another eternal heart for us. Uh, it might be impossible, though. We'll see if we can get five cents. I mean, we should be able to go to all the secret rooms, given that I have X-ray vision. I'm sorry I've been skipping out on the item rooms, but... You know, I, I need to make sure that I preserve my keys. Going to the item rooms just to see what we're missing is, like, just first world hilarity, I guess. But if we're missing out on Polyphemus, that would be shitty. But you already know I missed out on the Relic, and the Relic is one of my favorite items in the game. And definitely would, you know, fit well, synergize well with the run of this type. Oh, that's why I, I didn't like the secret room. It only had a slot machine in it. So that's bad damage. Don't take any more, or you're going to put that Spirit Heart in risk, or at risk, I should say. I should probably just fight... Whoever our boss is right now, I'm digging the science run. Thank you, Vermolin. Now, I'm going to drop Doctor's Remote on the pony. If I could hit both, I would love it. And I did indeed hit both. That was very lucky. That's okay. We could... Uh, we cannot get the pony, actually, because that was... That was bad, but I... Whoa, managed not to get hit somehow there. Um, That was really good dodging, actually. We're not going to be able to take the pony because it would replace our Doctor's Remote item. And again, I think that is outside of the spirit of the challenge, so I don't think it's fair for me to just say, oh, well, I want this, so let's take it. Like I did with that luck foot. Am I right, guys? What a hypocrite. Come on, pop up! Thank you. You guys remember pop-up video on VH1? Now, that was a TV show that you were likely to hear never gonna give you up on. Oh, uh, we're gonna just come out here a little bit. This is always the most annoying one, is the one in this bottom right corner. There we go. We're safe. We're up to 12 cents. We're nearly in Nun's Habit territory. Why not pop this open? We're in Nun's Habit territory now. Being in Nun's Habit territory, I don't know why, it sounds like some kind of porn term? Like when you when you get so off the rails with respect to fetishes, like you're in Nun's Habit territory. I don't know, I'm trying here. We're in Nun's Habit territory, the story of Northern Lion. Wow, I botched my own meme. The story of Northern Lion and his quest to shove six pineapples up his butt at the same time. I would love to hear some excerpts from that book. Come on, pop up here. Douchebag, thank you. Well, a lot of people thought it couldn't be done, but you know, having done five pineapples myself, I realized the limitations of the human body and just thought if I persevered, it would work out perfectly. So I am very much risking this eternal heart that we have here to go back to the shop. We do have more spirit hearts here. So provided I don't get hit by this douchebag, Thank you. Uh, I should be able to pop this open. Get some more spirit hearts of the rock, maybe. Well, one spirit heart. Where's Dwayne the Rock Johnson when you need him? That's what I was specifically asking for here. Uh, if we fall all the way down here, we'll get the nun's habit. And that was a good floor for us, I would say. We're going to get another HP upgrade, which compensates us for the fact that uh, I wasn't able to get... Man. This version of Isaac looks like he's seen some shit. This is like, if you saw this character in the Walking Dead video game, you would be like, somebody's about to get cold-blooded fucking murdered here. Um, what the heck was I gonna say? We had something important. It was like, life-changing. It was like, the old lady's life story from Titanic. I do want this pill because I do have PhD. Anyway, so far so good. Yeah, it what I was gonna say is that, uh, health upgrade from the Eternal Heart compensates us for the fact that, a uh, bad gas, really? Uh, compensates us for the fact that the pony was functionally useless for us. As much as I would love to get the pony, I think it's a much better item than Doctor's Remote. Doctor's Remote, you know, I gotta give it kudos. It hasn't been terrible for us so far. It's not the greatest item in the game by any stretch of the imagination. It's actually one of those items in the game where there's like deliberately or definitely, definitively, that's the combination of words I was going for there, definitively, uh, there's a much better item, like a straight upgrade. You know how the equalizer in TF2 used to be a straight upgrade to the soldier's shovel? Well, many of you probably do. Um, now, 
the uh, like doctor's remote seems functionally worthless when you have epic fetus, which allows you to fire like ten doctor's remotes per floor, or per room really, if you wanted to. I can't believe I took two damages there. What do we have here? Come on, just let me know. Range up. That's fucking useless, I guess. Uh, and I'm hoping on the caves part two here we fight pestilence. Actually, oh, I'm trapped. Bad gas, save me. Uh, I'm hoping we fight pestilence so we can get that you know next cube of meat up. Get the extra familiar damage, improve our DPS a little bit. The other thing I would want is obviously just like the pentagram or something to give us thicker damage. Quad shot, I'm not sure if that works in conjunction with uh, with the lasers. Anything that would make our laser bigger and do more damage is fantastic though. Alright, so obviously we didn't really get what we wanted at all here. We're going to be saddled, unfortunately, with uh, little Chad, who has been showing up more and more frequently lately, but that could just be random chance, who knows. The other thing that would work really well is actually if we got Rage. We haven't seen Rage in forever when we're not playing as Samson. That was an easy kill, didn't even- oh, uh, it's not over yet, but I haven't even had to use our- what the heck was I gonna say? Uh, Doctor's Remote on it. So we got little Chad, we got another familiar following us around. It's okay, it could potentially help us out as we get further and further into the game, but the further and further we get into the game here, the more I'm kinda concerned. I would love some deals with the angel or deals with the devil to, to hook me up here. You know, something like Holy Grail. Oh man, these silkworms are a pain in the dick. And why is the frame rate suddenly so chuggy? That's okay, I think it smoothed out a little bit here. Game's just having some trouble modeling, you know, six enemies at the same time. As well as my fat laser beams. Uh, we have a fortune teller, which I do not want to go to. I will probably go to the curse room. Just because there's the potential for some sweet items in there. There's also the potential for us to get, like, double spiders or something, but, you know, you take the good with the bad in life. That's my secret. We got a key, we've got a mob trap room, which we cannot go to. We've got a curse room, which we will probably go to if little uh, Chubb hooks us up with some more red hearts. Little Chad. Of course, if you're ever waiting for the episode where I stop making the mistake between little Chad and little Chubb, never gonna happen. If Brimstone... And, or sorry, yeah, if Brimstone and Lord of the Pit weren't both great items, I probably never would have gotten over the confusion there. Same with Book of Belial and Necronomicon. So I am going to use two bombs to access this Tinted Rock in the hopes that it gives us the Tiny Rock, or at the very least, uh, Keys and Spirit Hearts. We'll see. Well, we got one Spirit Heart out of it. I probably shouldn't have taken that until I went to the Curse Room, which we are now probably not going to go to, but, you know, old habits die hard. And old men die hard too, apparently, according to the new Bruce Willis movie. So we're doing fine here. Just keep backing it up. We got an HP upgrade. That's always good because I could hit, leverage that at some point to a deal with the devil, potentially. If I could ever think of a deal with the devil item besides flying, that would work well for me. Just keep these guys trapped. The good news is, with, when you're fighting these guys, they might take a little bit longer to get down into the ooze state because you're not doing so much damage, but you can hit them when they're in the ooze state, even if there's tons of dudes behind them. That's like the unsung hero element of Technology 2, and Technology is that it flies directly through the enemies. Okay. So, we still doing well here? Yeah, we're still firing two bolts, I was just making sure. And we'll continue going on here. Um, I don't know why I'm exploring the rest of this floor, I guess in the hopes that I'll, I'll pick up some more money. And in picking up this money, uh, I'll be able to, you know, buy something at the shop on a future floor. Maybe not even this floor, but on the next floor, potentially. So we do have a blood bank, I can play the shit out of that to get tons of money. Problem is, we don't really have that many hearts that I wanna waste. But we might go into the shop and see first if it's worthwhile. We're not really wasting keys, because we have a, a number of them. And we, the, like, need for keys is so low. I've got a need. The need for keys that, um... Probably, I was thinking, afford to... Oh, come on, you didn't make that? Well, now we can go to the curse room. I was thinking we could probably go check out those item rooms, but then I remembered, if we're going to the chest, I might as well save my keys as long as possible. Alright, so our second... We get Mom's Pearl in our second secret room. Not a... It's actually a pretty good item. I was gonna say not a bad item, but that's that's not totally fair. I think this is a good item. Uh, it gives us more spirit heart drops, in case you've forgotten. I think what I am gonna do is go play the... Oh, let's check out the curse room first. What do we got in here? Yeah, kind of expecting something like that. Uh, so why don't we just come in here? We'll play this like four times, see if we can get some fat stacks. So far the stacks are, are reasonably well endowed. That's three, here's four. IV bag, interesting. Uh, in our shop, we don't really have anything that I want to purchase, except for maybe the pill. 
which is going to be Tears Upgrade. Not sure if that's even worthwhile. And the Spirit Heart, of course. And now we only have one cent. So, I, you know, it didn't really pay for itself, but it was okay. Now, having explored the entirety of the floor, I think it's fair to say we should probably get these hearts, which uh, we have a fair number of, and then go down to the next floor. So, so far, so good, but we're starting to run out of uh, positive things to say as our damage is not really increasing. Our HP is, but our damage is staying relatively consistent, which is not necessarily the best thing for us, considering that is our sore spot right now. So we are going to go back down to the boss room here. It's been kind of a slow run, which I didn't expect. I expected to kind of tear through these guys. What Maybe what might balance this run? I mean, it's not imbalanced necessarily, but I'm feeling like when it comes to later floors, I'm not going to be doing enough damage. It could be just bad luck with respect to like boss rooms and stuff like that, but or boss items, I should say. Uh, but moreover, I'm thinking if we got something like a Polyphemus, that would allow us to uh, potentially just have like a thicker laser. But anyway... Oh, do we have some kind of glitch going on here? Uh, Isaac. Are you there? Pick up, buddy. If you're there. Could it be the pink glitch? Oh, there we go. It was indeed the pink glitch. Alright, problem solved. Oh, man, I hate that. Okay, so we got Curse of the Labyrinth on the depths. This is bad because it means we only have one shop left. That's by far the worst um, consequence of this. And I should be using Doctor's Remote more, but the Doctor's Remote functions differently than Epic Fetus to a certain extent in that Doctor's Remote has like a huge charge up time when you launch it. That uh, was bad. Uh, it has like at least, oh come on, double spiders. At least like a three or four second like time when you want to aim. I just want to aim as quickly as possible and then get the heck out of there. But that's not how the Doctor's Remote works. So sadly, uh, I'm saving it primarily for bosses, because otherwise I'm going to end up hitting myself, especially if I'm dealing with uh, fast-moving enemies. So here's our shop. Blow up the everything. Blow up the every god! Darn it. We're okay. Uh, we've taken a little bit of health, though. What do we have in our shop here? This is what I was thinking. Battery's awesome. Uh, in combination with Yumheart. Sorry, not Yumheart. Doctor's Remote. What was I thinking? Uh, we'd be able to fire it con more continuously, almost at the level of, like, an epic fetus. Every time I say that, I feel weirder and weirder about it. The level of an epic fetus. Anyway, we're going to try to get the 15 cents. I don't think it's going to happen. If it does, we'll get the battery and we'll definitely start using uh, Nunsabu with more regular... Not Nunsabu, uh, Doctor's Remote. Why can't I remember that with more regularity? Well, the reason I can't remember it is because, by and large, I've never really used this item. So I guess I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing here. Slowly but surely whittling down these guts. Remember, these guys have a ton of HP, so... It's gonna take us a little while here. Shit happens though. I'm just gonna put myself in a position where I'm reasonably safe. And by reasonably safe, I mean probably the most harrowing condition on the map right now. We're just gonna follow this guy down. Gonna follow this guy down. And that was relatively slow, but hey, it's over now. As POD almost said, uh, we have greed. This might end up allowing us to get either the 15 cents or the steam sale or the quarter, all of which would allow us to buy the battery. Keep it up. Backing it up a little bit whenever necessary. Greed is dead. Greed drops like six cents. And a red chest, which gives us two bombs. How could you? And Magneto actually doesn't give us any benefit there. Maybe even hurts us a little bit. So we're going to be hoping for, you know, another... I guess we need seven cents still, which is not out of the realm of possibility. Single nickel would definitely swing things in our favor. Uh, but... Oh, well, there's one cent. So we're getting closer, now we only need six cents. My favorite Haley Joel Osment movie, next to... Ooh, let me think about this. Kingdom Hearts. Um, not a movie, they say. Well, that depends on your feelings about JRPGs, I guess. Um, backing this up. I feel like I'm saying backing this up a lot when I play these runs, like especially when I play a run where I'm shooting backwards continuously, almost in like a Geometry War style. This is a good example of when to use Doctor's Remote. I killed one freaking zombie with it. I wish that would have been a little bit more effective, but hey, we've already got it halfway charged. Thanks to Nun's Habit and me getting hit soon after. Oh, that's I should definitely go back and get that money. Because obviously, money, more Kingdom Hearts references, right? I'm just joking with you. Kingdom Hearts is a good game, man. I never played it after it got a little weirder. But I know people that enjoy the series a great deal, so I'm not gonna sit here and shit on Kingdom Hearts. I thought Kingdom Hearts 1 was a sweet game. Mind you, I was also 
14 when I played it, but you know, 14 year olds, they, they could taste the video games sometimes. Fuck, I was like six when I played Contra. I loved the bejesus out of that. Come to think of it. it. It's always funny when you look back on those games and you remember, like, well, you might not remember depending on your age, but. Or you might remember very well if you're older than I am. Um, but, and you look back on these games that, like, the ESRB and, like, parents got really freaked out about because they were, they were ultra violent. They're gonna corrupt our kids. Then you look back and you're like, it's like 8 bit violence. Oh, god damn awful. Um,. Like, Mortal Kombat now just looks comical, but at the time it was like, This game is the most realistic depiction of violence in history. Just goes to show you, you gotta be careful when you take a stand on stuff like that, because ten years down the road you can look really silly. Although, I guess, you know, to be fair, there are still people that hold those opinions with respect to video games. I mean, I played a lot of violent video games growing up, but... I've only gone on four or five, like, homicidal rampages, so I don't think there's necessarily any truth to them. Shocking news today, out of Vancouver. YouTube Let's Player Northern Lion, also known as El Flamo Blanco, has rolled up tens of thousands of innocent citizens into a ball in the hopes to appease his god, who is also his father. What can I say? Katamari Damaki made me do it. Damaki? Damachi? I'm such a poser. I've never even played him. But I did play Mutant Blob's Attack, so I feel like I can make that reference anyway. I'm just saying. Ah, oh, come on. The sweet-ass brownie in motion there got me killed. Or got me hit, anyway. Um, sweet-ass brownie in motion got me killed sounds like a blaxploitation film that I want to make, but I don't have the resources to do so unless I can record that blaxploitation film in Camtasia. Also, for a 23-year-old white man to make a blaxploitation film might be misinterpreted in the media. It might not, but it might. You guys seen Black Dynamite? That movie's funny as hell. Stand still and take damage here because I'm a dungo. Uh, we do have 15 cents. Okay, so I can go back and get the battery. I might as well do that, but why not just get everything explored here? We're going to get a little crazy with these guys. I only killed two with the doctor's remote there. But at least the aiming was effective. Tried to play chicken with that guy. I think he would have won in the long run. Uh, actually, you know what? I take it back. Let's just go back to the uh, shop. It's a long walk. I should be using Doctor's Remote, like, continuously now, because we're gonna have Nun's Habit and Doctor's Remote, which means it should charge up all the damn time. Do we have a chance at victory here? I don't know, man. It's It seems within grasp. Certainly, uh, I would be very surprised if we lost before Mom's Heart. I think Mom's Heart should be a gimme here, basically. Uh, but, you know, stranger things have happened. We're definitely gonna pick up the battery here. I think the reason that I was thinking... Maybe we'll get some more money and then come back later. It was because maybe I wanted that red heart, but we don't really need it right now. Unless I was going to roll with Demon Judgment. So what am I... Where am I going here? Sorry, I just had a little bit of a stroke. Uh, let us continue onwards here. I'm digging this science run. I'm trying to think, though, that there might be some more science-related items in the game. Like, let's be honest. X-ray goggles, merely tangentially related to science. Like, comically related to science. PhD I get. Technologies I get. Robo Baby for sure. Um... What else could there be? Well, I mean, obviously, Dr. Fetus. Like, either of the fetus items have a science connection, because the dude's a doctor. You think I spent four years in evil medical school to be called Mr. Evil? Help me. Help me. Help me! <laughs> oh, not good. Not good, says he. But Okay, we're safe here. We've been getting enough spirit arts thanks to Mom's Pearl, but that's going to change very soon, obviously. Uh, I think our boss room's gonna be over to the left here, because we've got two boss rooms stacked on top of one another, obviously. I love technology on rooms like that, where you can just hit the TNT barrel instantly. Okay. So I should be, like, spamming... Doctor's Remote, especially if we're fighting a boss that I know I'm gonna get hit against. So let's see who we've got first. Monstro 2. I shouldn't have to use Doctor's Remote against Monstro 2, but I might as well. Although now I've done it. I've completely shattered my pattern that I normally use. That's okay. Maybe it'll make for a more interesting boss fight. Who knows? The shitty part about Monster 2 is when you don't have him in the pattern, he always does the double jump. And doing the double jump makes him a pain in the dick. Yes, exactly. Okay, come on. 
We'll do this old song and dance again. The problem now is that I can't even get behind him. We do have another Doctor's Remote to drop soon, probably. Thank you, Green Bomb, for being the nicest Green Bomb of all time. There we go. Thank you for just doing the regular jump, Monstro. Hurt me more. We're going to just continue hitting him with the laser here. If I can get him to fire his own laser and get back into the pattern, I'd be very happy. There we go. So we're just going to keep this up. The good thing about technology is it doesn't actually cause him to move. Whereas, you know, normal shots, they carry some momentum. They push him out of the way. Whereas these laser beams don't require uh, him to move in order to s satisfy the laws of physics. The problem is we're doing so little damage. Please give me a pentagram here or something. Unlikely. We got an 8-ball. That's a tears upgrade. I guess it's something anyway. And we get Judgment too. Uh, who will save for when we get more money and can probably make better use of him. So I do want to use Doctor's Remote against Mom. I just don't know how to make it work. And we're going to have probably a serious problem with crowd control here. Technology's alright from a crowd control standpoint, but it also, you know, struggles a little bit. Oh my god, I hate these white enemies! Sorry, again, with the black exploitation film, then I hate these white enemies. The script basically writes itself. Um, okay, so I'm just going to drop Doctor's Remote. We're going to try to... Yeah, I did manage to land it there. Although, I took some damage as well. Um, let's try this again. I'm taking a lot of damage here trying to make this work. This should not be that difficult. I should just treat it like a standard mom fight. Standard mom fight. Again, before I started Let's Playing Isaac, did not expect those words to ever come out of my mouth. Yeah, it's just a standard fight against, uh, you know, the giant version of your own mother. I am under, of the impression that it's not the giant version of his mother. It's just like, you know, when you're a kid, you always feel like your parents are larger than life. And then when you defeat them, maybe they're, they're not. I don't know. The, the last part didn't really make sense, but, you know, work with me here. I wasn't even paying attention to the shadow. I was trying to aim the freaking doctor's remote, but that's okay. We're going to get out of this fight okay, I think. It's getting kind of close here. That's the main problem here, is that we just didn't get very much damage. If we'd gotten some damage upgrades, we wouldn't be suffering. So, oh, come on, you can do it. Mom will drop some hearts when she dies. Managed to get out of there just in time. Keep it up. Just watch out for shadows. Oh, there's one. And we're down to half a heart. No! Okay, we lived. And we got a spirit heart and we got squeezy, so we're going to live a little bit longer, too. But my god, that got fairly close. Uh, we're going to go down to the next floor. Uh, I, we don't have a chance here. I hate to spoil it for you. We're pretty much fucked. Um, how are we going to make this work? That was more money. That might be good for judgment, actually. Uh, how are we going to make this work? Full health. And... Um, Mammoth item, like a deal with the devil quality item from this floor. Uh, we got some HP upgrades there, so we our survivability is increased for sure. And again, dodging while using Doctor's Remote can be kind of a pain in the ass. I, obviously, people are going to suggest use your mouse. I kind of find that cheating, because you're just kind of like using your mouse and aiming over where you want to fire. This isn't a first person shooter, man. That's a ton of money. So if Judgment hadn't paid out right away, he was going to pay out soon anyway. And we're starting to rebuild our stock here, which is good. Got some blast assistants. Uh, we're just gonna drop a doctor's remote on their bitch asses. That split them anyway. I thought it was maybe just gonna kill them outright. Sadly, no. It's okay. Just doing some clutch dodges. Oh, that was not a clutch dodge. That was the opposite. You guys like clutch? The prog rock band? I don't even know. Maybe they're just hard rock. I don't know either, actually. My roommate was really into Clutch in university, and he always loved this song. It was I, I don't know what it was called, but the, the lyrics were like, 1-1-0-1-0-1-1! One, 1-1-0-0-1-0-1! One, zero, one, zero, one, one. One, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one. And I was like, well, that's pretty catchy. And I appreciate the songwriting, but I don't know. I'm gonna be over here listening to The Cure or something. Back when I had hair that I could flip over my eyes. Um, we have The Hanged Man, which is the ability to fly. We have... Hero font, which is incredibly important to Spirit Hearts. So I'm spending all this money here and spending time on it too because, you know, my lovely lady lumps. And maybe we'll play this just a little bit longer. Up to down to 17 cents. That's how much of my attention you've got. Oh, crystal ball. Gives us vision of the floor at least. So let's pop that open. We get a bicycle card, two of spades. Gives us a ton of keys. And we're going to go back to Doctor's Remote. Shouldn't even have used the crystal ball because it's so against science. 
Took a brief sip of water there. Let's see what we've got over here. These douchebags. I'm hoping we fight Skolex, because one Doctor's Remote will turn Skolex into Deadex. Well, Deadex, 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 Deadex. I tried. Uh, what do we have down here? We got two more sis. Just trying to make conversation here. We could be here for a while. Because these guys are DBs. Decibels. Um, dumb bitches. Douchebags. Dickbags. The bloat. That's the worst. Champion bloats. Well, the good news. Oh my god. Champion bloat creates creep behind it? You can't do that. Drop it. Yeah. So the good news is if we get hit a lot here, at least we'll get a lot of charges of Doctor's Remote. Oh my god, this is a hard ass fight. Champion bloat that can create creep behind it. You are a harsh mistress. Okay, here we go. No, don't jump. Yeah, still got him. Not only can he create creep behind him, in addition to that, of course, still all the other bloat features, like the ability to shoot lasers out of the side of his head. Now no place is safe. This boss is like harder than... Some people have said that Champion Bloat is harder than uh, Isaac and Blue Baby. I disagree with that. We killed it. I can't believe it. Uh, I really can't believe it, honestly. But hey, we made it. Uh, I don't think Bloat is harder than... Isaac and Blue Baby, like Champion Bloat, that specific Champion Bloat uh, in particular, uh, but it's it's certainly in the league of like top 10% difficult bosses in the game, so for us to survive that was was lucky a little bit. Uh, thankfully, of course, you know, the Polaroid's invincibility helped us out. We're gonna drop Doctor's Remote on this bomb fly down here, unless I totally botch it and just waste a charge. So, I'm hoping that the secret room here is just the one where you go and it's got like 10 red hearts in it. Oh my god, I can't believe I still took damage there. Um, it's not. It's the kind where you go in and there's just six cents sitting around. Can we beat- Oh, we're on the boss room already. That was awful damage. Um, what do, YouTube? I think- I think I'm screwed here, but the good thing is we do have the one up. I totally forgot about that, so all is not lost when we die here, which we will. We will have full health. I'm not sure if we'll have, like, nine heart containers, but we'll have a decent amount of heart containers. Chill, we're all good. We're all friends here. Sloth, who is taking 55,000 lasers to kill. I don't know if you can quantify lasers like that. I didn't take physics after the 12th grade, I apologize. That's gonna, oh my god, that was close. Keep it up, keep, this guy's gonna die. I've got faith that he's done. Sorry, I have science that he's done. There we go, so we get, uh, two of diamonds. That's good, I really needed that money right now. Uh, so let's go fight Mom's heart here. You never know. We could succeed. He says before a laser just single-handedly ruins his life. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but now we're back to full health. So we got nine hearts. This is good news. This is going to be a long, drawn-out fight because we're doing so little damage. We didn't really gain any damage for the remainder of the game, which is insanity. Seriously, we're still rolling just tech one, tech two here. Little chub. Uh, drop the... This is what I mean, like, Doctor's Remote is actually kind of shitty. Because it takes forever to actually charge. We've already lost three health. Two of that was because I was trying to charge this for, like, five seconds. Come on, just drop it. There we go. At least it hit. Oh, and I get hit again. Okay, so maybe it's time to stop focusing on Doctor's Remote. Because it's not doing anything for me with respect to this boss fight. And neither are these lasers, apparently. So I think if we're going to do this run again, and I like this run, and I would love to do it again, because the idea of having, like, two lasers of technology that are basically akin to a brimstone in terms of damage is awesome. However, uh, we need to have more damage in order to make it worthwhile. Oh, laser still existed. And again, this is going to be a long-ass mom's hard fight. It's amazing how badly this run actually scales. So we're just going to kick this in here. That worked out pretty well. Drop another bomb in here. Kick it in. Kill the zombies! Well, we got a lot of them anyway. Actually, I guess zombies are one of the least difficult enemies to kill with a run like this. And we're finally getting into a good rhythm with, you know, the kicking of these bombs and the lasers actually doing some damage. It's not the end of the world. We only have one bomb left, though. That's kind of a problem. But we should be in continuously firing bomb state from mom soon. Do, do I not have the battery? Why is Doctor's Remote charging so slowly? Like, work with me here. 
so. I think we're gonna survive this. I think now it's gonna become a severe pain in the dick, though. Because we're gonna be doing so little damage. I can't stress that enough. Our damage right now is pitiful. It, it's almost like we, we're still just trucking along with Isaac's base damage. The benefits we have are copious, I'll admit. You know, we have the ability to... Oh, I can't shoot for a second because I'm using Doctor's Remote. There we go. Um, Because we have, like, piercing shots, of course. So we can do stuff like this. Oh, oh man. Well, that didn't work out exactly the way I intended. But as we keep this going here... Um, we're going to succeed. Do we have a, a ghost chance in hell in the cathedral? Absolutely not. But who knows? Maybe we pick up some kind of amazing treasure up there and things start going in our favor. But for now, just enjoy the victory lap while we got it, man. This is the second secret room. Oh, it's our first secret room. I was really hoping that this had uh, a metric fuck. Oh, god damn it! A metric fuck ton of hearts in it. Uh, we're well into the out of the frying pan into the fire pretty quickly here. We did kill the widow quickly. Now, if we just back off, we should be able to take out this bomb fly before it can take us out. That should do it. Okay, we got another half red heart. It's something. We got enough keys that we can waste some here. Uh, did I just get a uh, half red heart for opening up a lock? That was unusual. We do have PhD, so why not increase our range? Well, the reason why not is because I could have walked on those spikes and accidentally hurt myself. And this is not the kind of fight I want to get involved in right now. But it's the kind of fight I don't have any choice but to get involved in right now. So we're going to try to... I hate this room. Um, Doctor's Remote might be able to kill Greed in one hit. No. Doctor's Remote might be able to kill each Greed in two hits each. So if I get them close together, we can maybe get something good going on here. This is good. Doing double damage. Just being able to stand still. Come on, you can do it. He should be dead. Look at the health bars on these guys. There we go. One's dead. One's left. We're still alive. Do I deserve to be? Is that the question? If so, greed answers. Greed answers. Um, we're going to take this. Great answers sounds like a, a sweet ass like Danish name or something. I'm just going to keep this up. Widow's kind of pissed off for some reason. Uh, but Pink Widow is actually one of the easier ones, especially if you have a huge range advantage like I do as a result of technology. Still going ahead here. Um, I predict over under on our success is probably around three rooms right now. So I would expect at some point in the next three rooms we'll run into some dick like this that I don't really want to deal with. This isn't some dick, this is several dicks. Um, just back up into the corner. There we go, three dead. We should be able to survive this room now. Stranger things have happened though, for sure. Take this guy out. What did I say? Three rooms? So this is going to be room one. I think that bomb fly ran into its own neutral fly, and that's what caused it to not pursue me. Uh, we should succeed in this room. And the reason we're going to fight this one is because I want to get Doctor's Remote recharged. Oh, I made a huge mistake. Get out of there. Yo, I still took damage. Are you kidding me? I thought I got in there just in time. Well, this, uh, this is going to be it. There's too much for my puny ape brain to think about. Yeah, we're done. I tried though, that was a good run. Thank you for the suggestion, Vermalin, and our dry streak when it comes to uh, beating the chest continues. But that was a fun run. Just needs a little bit more in favor of the player, I think. Maybe we'll throw some damage upgrades or Polyphemus on top of that and do it again. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Keep the challenge runs coming on Reddit, on the Saving Progress forums, on YouTube. I look at them all. Twitter messages. Full-time job looking at Isaac challenge runs these days, but it's a lot of fun seeing the kind of creative stuff you guys are coming up with. But as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.